In a previous episode, I presented the idea of the Fermi Paradox. Space is huge, like space huge, not aircraft carrier huge, and there are billions upon billions of stars, and there seem to be lots of habitable planets around those stars, where are all the damn aliens? There are plenty of theories about what might be the solution for the Fermi Paradox, like there aren't a lot of aliens out there, and we're too far apart to bother with, or maybe they just don't want to talk to us because of our meat cooties, or maybe we're really in a cosmic zoo and if you break it, you bought it. It's possible that we're the first intelligent civilization to exist in the entire universe, but I've never been a fan of that idea. If we're the best the universe can do in billions of years, I seriously need to make some heavy expectation adjustments to my view of everything. There is still another theory, one you might find troubling. It's called the Great Filter, and it says that something prevents intelligent civilizations from ever forming, in a darkly mysterious Philip K. Dick kind of way. Consider the long series of steps that happened to get us from the early Earth to where we are now. A planet with the right combination of atoms needed to have liquid water long enough for organic molecules to form. Those molecules needed to somehow be able to reproduce, eventually becoming the first organisms, which eventually became multicellular organisms, and then learning to reproduce sexually, evolving tool use, and eventually becoming intelligent life. And all the while, managing to survive a planetary extinction or two. And then, at some point in the future, this intelligent life goes on to colonize an entire galaxy. Since humanity has passed all these previous steps, we know they're not impossible. Maybe really, really improbable, but not impossible. And as we imagine the future, there's nothing in the laws of physics that'll stop us from building machines that can help us colonize the entire galaxy. Pretty machines, with blinking lights, and possibly incorporating meat parts from future generations of humans. And if we can do it, any race could do it. And if the universe has been around for almost 14 billion years, and we've done it in a fraction of that, there's been plenty of time for this to have been done. And yet, still no aliens. So maybe the Great Filter is still waiting for us. No matter how hard we try to extend beyond our solar system, something will stop us. So what could the Great Filter be? There's lots of ideas. Maybe all civilizations discover the most horrible of weapons and eventually destroy themselves. They can develop virtual reality technology and choose to spend their future in a simulated reality. They could create an exotic type of matter that destroys their home planet. Perhaps they create robotic servants who inevitably overthrow their masters in a planetary robot apocalypse. Perhaps someone creates a super plague that wipes out all life. The civilization ruins their environment and its ability to support life by filling their oceans with plastic and their atmosphere with CO2 until their planet becomes a pressure cooker. Or maybe they've just watched too much reality TV and just get too dumb to put food in their own mouths and die of stupid. Whatever the cause is, here's the haunting idea behind it. Whatever this great filter is, it must hit 100% of intelligent civilizations. Because if even 1% of aliens are able to avoid it, they'd go on to colonize the galaxy. And still, even to this day, yes, we have no aliens. There could be some high probability, absolute devastation event in our future, which will happen just before we become a spacefaring civilization. And there's no way we can prevent or predict it. The idea that all advanced civilizations are doomed is unsettling. Well, here's hoping the Great Filter is wrong. Either we're the first advanced civilization in the Milky Way, or perhaps we'll figure it out and avoid the catastrophe that killed off all the other aliens in the galaxy. So what do you think? What's it gonna be? What will wipe us out? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Bill Strait and the many others who help us create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. We have no aliens, still no aliens. Where are all the damn aliens?